What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel for another tactical video in collaboration with the always amazing GYR. He has released today his Joker tactic. Now you will have seen this shape previously in certain PvP competitions. The man himself has even repped it to win an FM playoffs title but it is a very very good tactic. In today's video guys we're going to show you the tactic. We're going to break it down so you guys can get it into your saves and we're also going to show you how things have got on in testing this with certain different teams so without any further ado let's dive in and take a look at this tactic so guys here it is this is the gyr joker tactic now i will say first and foremost as you can see the tactic is on your screen so it's obviously the goalkeeper a flat back for defensive midfielder three central midfielders and then the two guys up top now I mentioned GYR has used this to win a FM playoffs trophy among with some other draft competitions as well and also this is a shape very commonly used by Zealand in his saves but also winning the showdown as well so we know that this is a good tactic and what makes it so good basically the, the players in the central midfield positions have better overall attributes in the game than wide players yes okay wide players are flashy they're fast and stuff like that but actually having a higher number of total attributes on the field for your matches will ultimately lead you to be pretty darn successful i will also say it does have two strikers up top which if you've seen my video where we test all of gyr's tactics together um the two striker up top really did prevail so that is why he has brought out this tactic today so as i said this is this is the tactic if we flick this over you guys can see the roles as well and we are going to go through things right here right now i will say there is a download link in the description for you guys to go and download this tactic and get it into your saves if you are playing on pc if you're playing on xbox or mobile or something like that just follow along with the steps uh, that i'm about to go through now so that you guys can get it in to your save as easy as you like but one thing i will say if you are going down in that description please do go and give gareth a follow uh, i will leave his links to his twitter his twitch and of course his discord down there as well and whilst you're there drop a like on today's video subscribe if you are new around here so let's get into this tactical breakdown in net we have a goalkeeper on defensive duty now i've expanded this menu guys on the right hand side so that you can see any additional instructions that are added to some of these players because there will be some throughout the course of this tactic breakdown so next up the fullback positions we have two inverted wing backs on attack duty now the inverted wing back is actually quite a popular role in this year's football manager and it comes with the following instructions it comes with rain from possession sit narrower get further forward cross less often take more risks cut inside with the ball dribble more and then gareth has added the tackle harder um instruction which you can see which are the custom added instructions uh, with the red circle and the white cog now you add those by going on to the edit button here and he has added tackle harder now this instruction is for both the left and the right back as they are both inverted wing backs on attack duty doing the same thing then we have central defender uh, central defenders god i can't even get my words out today central defenders on defensive duty no additional instructions for these guys but they will just sort of sit there you don't necessarily need the extravagant ball playing defender um so we're going for central defenders on defensive duty right here moving up the pitch into the defensive midfielder now i like the defensive midfielder much the same as the central midfielder you can kind of customize it to do anything you want really um and this time we have a defensive midfielder on support function uh using more direct passes dribbling less and tackling harder so again you add those uh tackling harder right here dribble less and more direct passing you can just change it in this passing directness section right there so then we move into the three central midfielders now obviously these guys are going to be getting involved with the goals as well because we know football manager does struggle with these midfield runners from deep that is what this tactic is all about is to get the ball up top to the strikers and then allow these midfielders to run from deep and create and cause havoc with the opposition defense so there we have two mazalas on either side of a central midfielder on attack so let's talk about the mazalas first of all they are mazalas on support function so they already come with roam from position move into channel stay wider and get further forward gareth on both of these guys on both of these players has added tackle harder shoot less often dribble more cross more and take more 
risks. So again, the get further forward, which they already have is fantastic, but also the take more risks. They will be more inclined to run forward and run beyond. And as I said, cause havoc with the opposition defense. Now we mentioned about how customizable the defensive midfielder is. The central midfielder, much the same as well. The CM on attack, again, another popular role in this year's football manager. Comes with the get further forward instruction, but Gareth has added shoot less often and take more risks. Now we're moving up the field. The two guys up top who need to make the ball stick and occupy the two central defenders to allow these midfield runners to cause all the damage. And we have two advanced forwards. They both have the same instructions, guys. So they are advanced forwards on attack. You can only get an advanced forward on attack uh, with take more risks, shoot less often and tackle harder as their custom instructions. So that is the shape that is the roles let's get into the tactical style now i will say the custom tactical is a custom vertical tiki tacker you guys can set that up yourself if you don't want to do that do things this way this cast tactical style doesn't really matter you guys can do clean slate and it will follow all these instructions and you'll still have the exact same results so it is on an attacking mentality and in possession this is how things are looking guys you are attacking width is fairly wide playing out of defense a standard passing directness extremely high tempo low crosses in that final third and also you are running at the defense with your dribbling style in transition you are counter pressing and you are countering when possession has been won and you are distributing the ball short effectively to both fullbacks and the center backs keeping basically keeping possession as long as you can kind of thing and building things up from the back in terms of out of possession we are a much higher line of engagement and a higher defensive line now fm loves this against the ai against the ai this works really well if you're using this in pvp not as successful in some instances in my experience um in terms of the trigger press we are triggering the press much more often and we are preventing that short goalkeeper distribution now i have to give a massive shout out to gareth on this one because his corner routine that he's got which obviously if you are downloading this directly into your save uh into your computer will work just fine but just for you guys who don't do that i will give a shout out to this corner routine he's been working on it recently and it is absolutely phenomenal scores a great number of goals so um the ball in in towards the near post he's got both his central defenders here one attacking the near post one lurking at the near post a striker going forward here he's also got a central midfielder over here lurking at the far post and another one attacking the far post that's the other striker and um, so guys make sure you set this up and then he's got the other two central midfielders lurking on the edge of the area and then also a defensive midfielder on stay back if needed it has done very very well in testing as well uh, but what i will say is if we go on to the tactic and i quick pick this without restriction the best 11 this is at the end of a season with swansea that we've done um in terms of our simulations and stuff now i will say even then the team has played a full season and the players aren't fully used to it yet the tactical familiarity is a massive thing guys if you haven't just dropped this tactic in and expect it to work straight away it probably might not if you're trying to do this and implement a new tactic in a pre-season and give the team a full pre-season to learn it the tactical familiarity will then be higher and then you will have greater success so i don't want to see you guys in the comments saying oh this tactic is rubbish it doesn't work i tried it in one game against the best team in the league and i got battered because that doesn't doesn't work in football manager so i just wanted to say that and um, but in this test with uh with swansea we go onto the competition screen they did win the sky bet championship by five points beating bournemouth uh sheffield united uh and fulham and all, all some of these other teams that are there this is on a vanilla database guys so exactly as you would start things 29 victories uh nine draws and eight losses throughout the course of the season but the championship is one of the most competitive leagues in the world and in terms of some of the other goals and stuff like that, it was the best goal scoring tactic in the league, in the league, and the seventh best in terms of conceding. Uh, but I would say Swansea are certainly not favourites to win this division. So um, I think this is a very good result. We've got a couple of other tests. If you do want to stick around and take a look at those, let's get into it now. So GYR tested this a little bit further down the English League Pyramid as well in Skybet League 2 with Forest Green. Now Forest Green obviously did get promoted in real life and they've done the exact same using this tactic promoted as well as winning the Papa John's Trophy which is pretty impressive uh, and they will be playing Skybet League 1 football next season. What I find the most impressive, yes okay they did get 14 draws but it's the plus 51 goal difference is the one for me to look at looking at this. If we expand this and we take a look at the league table it's 
stages. There we go, League Table. You can see it scored 102 goals for Forest Green in Skybet League 2, uh, which has done very, very well. We do have, of course, some other tests that we are going to do in different countries. So let's move into the next one of those, which is at Benfica. So heading on over to Portugal, a highly competitive league to test this with Benfica. As you can see on screen, Benfica did win the league. 30 victories, two draws, two losses, that plus 78 goal difference again. You're seeing these massive goal scoring swings with this tactic. It does put teams to the sword, I must admit. If we expand the league stages again, take a look at the league table. 107 goals for Benfica. This is a very good goal scoring tactic. They win the league by 11 points over Porto, um, which is very impressive. In terms of some of the other competitions, Darwin Nunez, 35 goals for him. I wonder if he's going to have such a successful season in the Premier League. Uh, runners up in the Allianz Cup, winners of the Portuguese Cup as well. They were knocked out in the group stage of the Champions League, but I will say they were in a group with Liverpool and AC Milan and Villarreal, probably three better teams than them. So you can kind of see why that did happen. Um, but as I mentioned, Darwin Nunez doing it very good things 50 goals for him in all competitions in this test with Benfica we've got two more stops on this journey one in Italy one in Spain so let's head to Italy first Italy is always an interesting one to test tactics in because there are a number of teams that can ultimately win the division. In this simulation, we have Atalanta picking up the Serie A trophy, 26 victories for them, uh, five draws, seven losses, 49 in terms of the goal difference and winning the title by just a point over both teams from Milan, uh, AC and Inter, of course. They got to the quarterfinals as well of the Champions League, ultimately losing to PSG, but you would understand PSG are a very good team they did also win the Coppa Italia absolutely thumping Lazio in this final 5-0 on a hat-trick for my guy Josip Illich so fair play to him and an absolute 10 rating uh, but it looks like it's a very clinical one in this particular instance winning the game 5-0 so as I said we've tested things here we've got one more test it's with Real Madrid let's go to Spain Hala bloody Madrid. We are in Spain for this final test and Real Madrid have done an absolute clean sweep of everything. This is probably the most impressive test and obviously this is an attacking tactic. So the better your team is, the better you will get on. Um, it did a clean sweep. As I said, it won the Super Cop, uh, Super Copa de España, uh, winning that one, beating Barcelona 4-0 in that final. They also won the Copa del Rey, beating, um, that's Real Sociedad, isn't it, in the final for that one. Beating Liverpool in the Champions League final, three goals to nil. Vinny Jr. with two and Kareem the Dream Benzema uh, with the final nail in the coffin there. As I said, clinical tactic, scores a lot. 102 points for Real Madrid in the league. And that plus 95 goal difference, 122 goals scored, which is the most in the league by almost 50. It, no, it is the most in the league. By, oh no, almost 50. Sorry, I didn't see Villarreal scored 76. It is a goal scoring machine, this tactic. And hopefully you guys understand the power that you can have with this tactic. And if you do go and check it out, as I said, there is a link down in the description for you to download it. Or if you follow the steps earlier, you will have it in your save. Easy as P, easy as PZ, easy as pie. Um, but as I said, this is, uh, this is only possible thanks to the amazing GYR. So please do go and check out his links in the description because he is my tactical guru and if this isn't the tactic for you you're looking for something else check out this playlist that's going to pop up here which is all of GYR's tactics that he's released on this year's game cycle 